Hello everyone, my name is Flyover and welcome to the new video. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up and save custom startup state for PMDG737. So without further delay, let's just jump into the FMC and let me show you how to do it. Uh, as you can see here in the aircraft, uh, I have my state now loaded and uh, it actually have uh, engines off, APU on, fuel pump on, uh, certain things here with electronics uh, is on, certain things is off. I will explain everything in the process because certain things need to be off to start the engines and I will show you. I will show you everything, how you're gonna set up your startup state so you don't have to wait until IRS is aligned because as you can see my IRS is already aligned and I just loaded aircraft. So if you want to skip the process of startup and let's say for example if your co-pilot already come to the cockpit earlier and you was doing a check around the aircraft he can already do certain things like start the APU maybe connect to ground power or whatever but so it's not unrealistic right it's just uh, make you a little bit easier if you are rushing into the flight or something you can do that if not you can still use classic cold and dark startup state and just load aircraft totally dark and then do it from the beginning but today i'm gonna show you how you gonna create and save the aircraft state that you can just start entering your flight plan start engine taxi and go okay so let's jump into the fmc and we are going to pmdg setup and you can see here we have panel state save, panel state load and startup state. This is the state that you want to load. I name it flyover, you can name it your name, you can name it whatever you want. But uh, usually default airplane, I believe it's load in taxi state. So I'm going to load taxi state. Uh, that one mean that... Uh, I'm not sure about parking brake but your engines is going to be on and everything that is default state like you can just start taxi from here you don't have to do anything that is actually default state that you will find your aircraft as soon as you install okay so that's it you can see the packs are on auto, uh, engine bleeds are on, APU bleed is off, APU is off, fuel pumps are all on, everything is just ready to go. And we don't want that. What we want is actually something less than this. So see, it's already RTO setup, auto throttle arm, just flight directors are still off but you can own it and you know just simple things that you need to set up before you start and of course it's default in inches of mercury not in uh, hectopascals and that is all will be that all will be remembered in your state whatever you set so let me go from the beginning uh, you want to go to the overhead panel and first thing what you want to do from this state from taxi state when everything is on uh, you want to start APU now we need to wait this APU gauge will go up and down and we need to wait What it say fault okay. 
Oh, there it go. Okay, need to wait for a while. Yeah. It is actually ridiculously long because APU on the Boeing it take time to start. I shouldn't click it that many, many times. You just click it once and then you wait and it take about one minute. And now it's gonna be turned on. So we just need to wait until this uh okay see it say generator of bus now you want to switch electricity to the apu generator to release the engines you want to start apu bleed and turn off engine bleeds you want to turn off the packs isolation valve can stay on auto that is fine. Uh, Anti-collision light will be on because that's your beacon, right? Position strobe and steady will go on steady. That one will stay. Uh, what next you going to do is you are going to uh, sorry, turn off your engines. Okay, so cut off the fuel. Turn off your engines now because APU is taking over the electricity so you wait until your engines stabilize on off uh, meanwhile you can switch to hectopascals if you're using hectopascals so you can leave on inches of mercury whatever you're using you can turn off or either turn on auto throttle I suggest is turn it off and fly the directors too because you're going to uh, turn them on later when you need it the flaps are already on five and i actually turned off engine but we need to withdraw the flaps all the way and also parking brake or uh, uh, auto brake on off right so flaps zero and that's it speed brake is not armed okay you make sure to check that speed brake is not arm uh taxi is on standby no taxi transponder sorry transponder is on standby that's it what else let me think you can uh, turn on the traffic rings already that one can stay always no problem uh, let's go up on the overhead panel let's check uh, these probes they can go on heat because you anyway need them and window heat also can be on because it's on APU so it's fine that one can be on and that is all everything else you just leave as it is your IRS is already aligned uh, your damper is on everything is on now what you can do is turn off these fuel pumps all of them and then you're gonna start them depending of how many fuel you have and what you need so you turn off every fuel pump except the this one this one need to stay on because it's fueling the apu okay so this fuel pump need to stay on and that's it that is all now we go back to our fmc we go to pmdg setup we go to panel state save you just type your name And just click here and save it and it's gonna be saved here let me just remove this from the scratch pad and you will here have your uh, saved and among them it will be flyover or whatever you name it now you want to choose every time when you load your aircraft to load this state you will click here and you choose your state and click exec, execute 
and it's gonna load your state every time when you load the aircraft and that's it that's it super simple super easy and every time when you load the aircraft it's going to show you exactly this the engines will be off the apu will be running irs will be aligned and you will be ready to go practically just start your engine enter your flight plan set up your mcp and go that's it thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video